you need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Funeral services were held at the Mountain Arts Center Tuesday for William Petrie, a deputy with the Floyd County Sheriff's Department. Deputy Petrie was killed in the line of duty during the shooting in Allen, June 30th. The theater was filled with law enforcement and members of the community paying their respects to the family. Jeff White officiated the ceremony and spoke alongside Floyd County Sheriff John Hunt. William and I go back 33 years ago when he and I started our careers together in law enforcement. He and I first started city police. Then he and I would spend years together in the Kentucky State Police. Then obviously we end up in the Sheriff's Department again some 30 years later. When William retired from the state police, he took a couple months where he was out of law enforcement. He went into a different sector. When you'd run into William during that time, William would express that he lost. He, he missed law enforcement. He missed it. He knew what his calling was. And he missed that. William would express at times that, man, if you had a place, I'd come to you in a minute. And I expressed to him, man, that's one of the greatest hires I would ever make in my life if I could get you to come to work for me. William loved law enforcement. He loved the job. He loved the people. He loved the people he served. He loved the people he worked with. And man, listen, he was, he was a dream to have worked for you. Deputy Petrie was a retired Kentucky State Trooper where he has held the positions of Trooper, Detective, and Public Affairs Officer. At the time of his death, Petrie was the Fire Chief for Martin City Fire and had spent two years as a deputy at the Floyd County Sheriff's Department. I've known Petrie for probably over 20 years. Um, I worked EMS prior to being in law enforcement, so when Petrie was a trooper, um, he was one of the guys that came to us a bunch whenever we... Uh, you know, needed needed law enforcement on the EMS call or whatever. So I've known him forever, and he was involved in the in the fire service also. So I, I did trainings and stuff with Petrie that way, and he went on to become a, uh, a retired uh, state trooper, and he come back and worked for us initially as an SRO. And and in Petrie's wor words, you know, there wasn't a lot of action in the school, so he uh, he wanted to come to the road, and he worked day shift, and I worked day shift, so. You know, we became really close and we poked at each other every day and, you know, we made, uh, gave each other a hard time over who could drink the most coffee or who can make the best coffee, but Petrie was just one of those guys that was just always there. You know, he'd been, he's been in law enforcement since the late 80s and, and every day that he came to work was like the first day. He never made excuses to, to not do something. Um, you know, a lot of people work harder trying to get out of work and that wasn't Petrie. He worked hard to get into work. Funeral services for Prestonsburg Police Captain Ralph Frazier will be held July 6th at 1 p.m. Services for Prestonsburg City Officer Jacob Chaffins will be held July 7th at 1 p.m. And a memorial for K-9 Drago will be held July 8th at 6 p.m. All services will be located at the Mountain Arts Center and the officers will be buried at Gethsemane Gardens. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.